Good morning, Twitter Spaces. Good morning. How are you doing, Kyle? I'm doing great, Paul. Any day that starts with a conversation with you is a great day. Oh, ditto right back at you. We're going to have a great week (laughs) next week, aren't we? We certainly are. Here, let me share this thing so we can invite more people share via tweet yeah go and share we'll start in t minus 55 seconds which is when we officially hit 8 30 and we'll get this thing kick started we'll get people to learn and understand get the details on what exactly is the miami crypto experience and why they should come and join this awesome event down in the southeast absolutely absolutely sunny miami I'm going to go ahead and share this as well, if I can find it. Edge. There we go. All right, I shared it. Cool, cool. All right, this is good. Uh, let's pop this window out. Let's bring you down. Got a man. It's all window management nowadays. It's tab and window management. All right, you ready to kick this off, Kyle? I'm ready to kick this off, Paul. I'm. Right, I'm. I'm, I'm ready as let's I've been. It. You know, okay. Am Let's I ever 100 percent ready? I don't know, but I feel You're like 110 today ready all the time. Like today okay, is a great day. Experience. Let's kick it off with what is it? When is it, Kyle? When are we having this great event that we'll be attending? You'll be attending. A lot of awesome people. We talking about crypto left and right. What are the details? Give me some deets. All right, here the details are. Paul, we will be bringing together some of. The world's foremost thought leaders, innovators, creators within the crypto space in Miami, November 10, 11, and 12. 11, 10, 11, 11, 11, 12. At the James L. Knight Center in Miami for three days of collision, collaboration, activations, giveaways, and more than anything else, fun, which I think is really <laughs> important these days. Like we've got to have fun and make like if we're not having fun, what's the point? Yeah, we gotta have a good time. We gotta have a good time. And I've had great times at these conferences, meeting people in the community. You know, users of Edge, users of other applications. People are just interested, newbies, old, OGs. What do you think people should expect out of the Miami Crypto Experience that might be? both atypical from maybe other crypto conferences, but also what would be unique? What's going to be unique about this event that they might not um, have uh, experienced in other crypto events? Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, I would contrast it against just general conferences. Like, so your, your typical conference has a lot of like, you know, one way kind of speaking. um, And it can be, a little bit more about like, you know, and sometimes there's a real kind of focus on one specific topic. Well, I'll tell you that our, this, the, the focus of this thing is experience. And that's why I'm so excited to have edge as a part of it. And as as the official wallet, because this is all about experience and using crypto from a to Z and understanding from, you know, from, from cryptocurrency to blockchain, to DeFi to NFTs, to how this technology is solving some of humanity's greatest challenges due to centralization through decentralization. Um, so I'm a big believer in you know the idea of when you just bring together good people with a, with a, with a solid you know container and hold space for it, and incredible things can happen. So we've got a bunch of amazing people. We're really encouraged. We have sign off from the mayor. He's officially endorsed it, Mayor Francis Suarez, um, and you know, so it's going to be open to open to the city of Miami on on Wednesday night for people to come and learn. And we want to encourage, like you know, the the people who are new to the space who have obviously had so many impressions but don't 
like nowhere to go. And we want to help them, you know, have it a, 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 create a, a, a container or a space for people to come in, radically collaborate, learn from the experts, share, explore, understand all this crazy tech. Because there's so much going on, as you know, Paul, right? Absolutely. So you mentioned using cryptocurrency. That's been that's been my jam since I first got into crypto, having you know wanting to spend Bitcoin back in 2013, 2014. But there's so many more ways to use crypto now than just simply spending it. Um, what do you think are going to be ways that Absolutely. So I think it's really important to think about, you know, that many people have taken the approach with crypto of like just the hodl and like, you know, hodling is great, but it's like, it's like treating it like really, it's, it's important. It's like, it's like a savings account. It's like, imagine having just a savings account that you never touch. Like in, it's missing the whole, the rest of the picture. And there's like, you know, what about your checking account? Like doing daily day transactions or what about giving? Um, so that's why it's like, you know, really like pushing the bounds of actually let's do it and use it because everybody, in my opinion, absolutely everybody should have a wallet on their phone. And I think that that wallet should be edge wallet, um, you know, to hold some balance of crypto in a convenient, accessible manner so that we can actually engage in more commerce and more activities you know, on the day to day, be it buying a drink, be it putting down some money on a game of cornhole or putting down some crypto on that, be purchasing some art, you know, thinking about different, uh, you know, different applications of it. Um, you know, and then as well, like through this, through this event too, there's going to be a large focus on NFTs as well. So we're giving away a McLaren to one attendee yeah so one attendee is going to win a mclaren what do people have to do if they say i, I got a ticket to miami crypto experience and i'm gonna i'm headed in there i'm in the venue do it is there anything i need to do to win the mclaren do i have to register get a ticket raffle whatnot you gotta, give people the very details. good question very good question so yes you're going to arrive on the venue and before before we partnered with a group called nifty world so nifty world is creating this little nft nifty app for us to to to, to hold these art nfts they're really something else and we're going to have it so it's a web a web browser or a native app and you'll be able to click the link it'll claim your miami crypto uh, pack, which is like, you know, that's really cool artwork. This is Miami crypto experience. You'll open up the pack inside of it. There'll be some information about the speakers, about the sponsors and all of them are going to be NFTs. There's also going to be this McLaren giveaway NFT. So you click it and it'll actually launch a, it'll have, you'll take a photo of yourself with the McLaren on site. It will put it into this mm. McLaren giveaway frame. You're only going to have one of these pictures for your McLaren frame of, with a picture of the McLaren frame available, and that is your entry. And then you'll submit it, it'll go right on to OpenSea instantly on Polygon Matic. And this is going to be like this social posting. And all those entries are going to go on there and they're going to be clear because they're going to have this, um, this special kind of frame around your picture. And it should be you and the, uh, and the McLaren. And then it'll go into a pool. And then on Friday, we're going to hit a cutoff time of, of noon. We're going to print out all the thousands of pictures, dump them all into a barrel, and then pull one. Like that, Before the bare knuckle fight, we're going to pull the winner, announce the winner. It's going to be fantastic. They will be epic. Life will change for one person, hopefully. Um, and... Uh, you know, get a car, kind of I a car that. your dreams are made of. Yeah, and you guys are doing it old school, good old fashioned paper sitting in a bucket or a barrel, drawing out of what would normally be a hat, but out of a barrel. Forget all the digital spin the blah 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 wheel, you know, random number kind of thing. We're doing it <laughs> yeah. old school, which actually is almost the only, the one provably fair way of doing it. 
And well, yeah, it's like a spectacle favorite. too, and then also exactly. like Miami. Miami is like the city of art too, as you know well, Paul. And Absolutely. so, what once we have thousands of pictures of people taking selfies with the McLaren, then you know we can smash that all together into a big collage piece. We have one of the collage masters and like you know premier artists in in Miami and new from New York as well Peter Tunney is going to be on site mm -hmm. for the whole experience you met him you gave him a crash course into Amazing. Bitcoin or we gave him a crash course into Bitcoin and he is more stoked than ever he's like Kyle I'm gonna leave there with at least one or two bits I was like all right Peter or are you, are, or are you want coins what do you want <laughs> <laughs> Now, you mentioned the announcement for this McLaren giveaway. It was going to be at the Bare Knuckle Fight. Want to give us some details about what exactly is the Bare Knuckle Fight? Yeah, totally. So, so there's this new hot emergent sport called BKFC. And BKFC stands for the Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship. It's like UFC, but there's no kicking and there's no ground kind of grappling. And Probably. there's no like hard no. octagon. It's like kind of a ring, but it's a circular ring. Um, uh -huh. It's the fastest growing sport in the world right now. Fastest growing contact sport in the world. And one of my fellow organizers, Bruno, is really good friends with the founder of that organization. And so we partnered up to help educate the BKFC group and fighters and also like do this crazy hybrid where at five o'clock on Friday, like the BKFC event kicks off. So within the venue, within the main hall that we're gonna be speaking for, for, for two and a half days, there's going to be the bare knuckle fight. So on Friday night, we're gonna be 5,000 people uh, in there for this BKFC. And I think there's gonna be five or six fights. There's gonna be uh, maybe you have a crypto a crypto card on there as well, and uh, yeah, it should be kind of an adrenaline, kind of hilarious or exciting, um, you know, spectacle. And what also is really cool about this is too, like you know, we're going to have the ring set up through the whole time, but just without the ropes. So Paul, Paul, you're <laughs> going to be giving like a keynote at it too. So it's like you'll be in the ring delivering the keynote to like you know to the auditorium and uh, it's gonna be quite the spectacle it's gonna be really wow. it's gonna be really cool yeah I've given presentations around the world at various conferences on amazing stages and whatnot but this has got to be the first time I've ever gonna have done a presentation inside of a fighting ring um, and this is actually a, a real ring because it's actually a circle Right. So it's a, it's a real ring. There. It's it's a real ring, and like it, there will not be any blood on it. Um, like you know, to, when you're presenting <laughs> oh, on it. Yeah, yeah, not at the maybe start. Afterwards. So at the probably start. afterwards. After. Yeah, and maybe afterwards might be a little know, bit and, blood and, and sweat. And, you know, but that's what we did here at crypto. We put our blood and sweat into making this technology happen. So we're going to see some blood and sweat in this ring, representative yeah. for what the thousands of people that have built this ecosystem have and put in. And we're fighting, too. And we're fighting. We might not be fighting with our bare knuckles in a ring, but we're fighting against the, you know very powerful centralized systems that for a long time have been plaguing and extorting the good people of the world with their value. And now with Edge, with crypto and blockchains, all this magical technology, we have an opportunity. We have this scalpel to the cancer that is this ridiculous centralization that borders on commie fascism. And we can turn this this dystopic pyramid that they seek to rule with us upside down to achieve on radical transparency to, right on its head. I remember Andreas gave a great talk about this. It's like a suit. when you have like a small number of people at the very top looking down on everybody else, it's like you know that is a, that is a tool of control and tyranny. But when you turn that upside upside down, when you have everybody being able to hold the hold like you know the few, the powerful, accountable, then we have like right. you know democracy. Then we have an opportunity for fair, just, value driven society and I feel like you know in order for us to move into this we need to have these events where we come together where we host where we educate 
like, you know, large swaths of people about the raw technology, those who are maybe new to it, but also by gathering as well a bunch of, like, you know, the, the thought leaders and cool companies and, and projects and, you know, radically collaborating and smashing heads and engaging in, like, masterminds and workshops to really understand where do we all want to get to as individuals and companies and like, when we all know where each of us want to go then we can start helping each other because as much as I want to succeed as much as I want I want like if if I am Kyle Kemper I want to succeed and I, Paul Pui, and I want you to succeed I want to help you and if we all know where we want to go we can all like, you know, leave our egos at the door and move forward and start helping so we can all reach these desired end states, which ultimately is like performing surgery on this cancer so that we can restore ourselves and Earth can be like the king of Rohan after Gandalf banishes worm tongue. You know what I mean? <laughs> yep, yep. And the beauty of this is unlike the blood and sweat battle that's going to happen on the ring, this can actually be a very peaceful one. And all we need is just simply more people to see the light, to come into crypto, to exit the fiat system. And they have that choice to simply take your funds, get it out of the fiat system, get it into the crypto world, especially in coins like Bitcoin and Doge and Ethereum, which don't have any peg to the dollar and whatnot. And that just slowly removes, it basically rug pulls the government. And that's one of this nice slow rug pull of the government and the fiat system. So. Join us over at the Miami Crypto Experience. I, I'm confident it's going to be an, an amazing opportunity. We'll be there. I'll be there. Um, I'll be speaking on self-custody, which is one of the things that I find so incredibly valuable and important in the crypto world. Cryptocurrency is the first opportunity in hum, humankind that we've ever been able to hold our own digital value. And so if it has been, if it is the reason that makes cryptocurrency unique, let's go ahead and do it. So come to my talk and hear all about that. Swing by our booth. We'll be giving away and activating people on edge and giving people a little bit of free crypto that they can use and spend around the Miami crypto experience itself. And there's going to be a lot of other great topics and presentations. Who are you, by the way, Kyle, most excited to see and um, hear from at the Miami crypto experience amidst the plethora of the different presenters that you guys have? Oh, that's such a good question, oh, Paul. There's, there's, there's so, so many, many there's so Who many out here. There, there, there's so many great got people. Draper speaking, and, I think, right? Tap Scott. Yeah. Jokes. So, like, the Draper speaking is really interesting because we're launching his story file, which is this amazing new tech where he spent like three days in a studio recording all the main questions and some fun questions. And then, you know, we're going to be launching this product called Story File where you can go and ask him anything. And like, it'll listen to you and decide what your question was, and then it'll cue his response if there was a response. And so he's created like you know this unbelievable library of responses that is it's like the Timbot. So it's a Timbot, but it's Tim himself. It was just a pre-recorded, but it's like really, really powerful stuff, and like. Everybody who listens to that, like, will be a little bit better. I mean, will be a little bit more intelligent as a result. Whether it's you know, whether you're an entrepreneur looking to pitch, whether you're just like you know anybody looking to understand Bitcoin or like you know his, understand his story. But it's just so cool because this is like this immemorializing tech, and we're going to be launching it in a hologram oh, man. with him, like in the center of the ring using Portal. I'm going to be interviewing him. We're going to be going through some of these questions, and it's going to be quite the experience. Dude, <laughs> so, I'm like picturing um, Superman in the Fortress of Solitude, inserting the green crystal, <laughs> and then suddenly his father shows up. You know, who's been exactly dead for, you know X exactly. number of years, but you can ask him questions and get all of the wisdom that he had amassed over the decades. But it's Tim Draper. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's I mean, amazing. I've got like, and 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 and, and story file is really cool. Coming that's enabling this to happen for everybody. So, like Paul, for example, <laughs> you can spend a couple of days in there. So I know you have an incredible amount of knowledge and understanding, and lots of teachings to offer. And you know, there's only so much time that we have in a given, you know, in a given day to do this. Lifetime. And like, this is going to be an example of Tim is going to be able to be presenting at the keynoting conference while I don't know, he could be fly fishing in Dakota. Um, yeah. 
So it's, or Amazing. he could be doing a hundred convert conferences all around the world. So like, you know, that's really exciting. Um, you know, we got this guy, Mark Moss, who's like talking about freedom and money. I'm a big believer in the freedom side of things. We've got Ken Bozak coming down. He's going to be holding, holding oh, workshops. Bro Bro is going to be over there, of course. Bro Bro, yeah. It. Bro Bro, he's going to be around. And this woman, Carrie Norley, who is like, you know, known as the wealth alchemist. And she is, um, you know, really talking about like conscious crypto and conscious wealth generation, which I think is really kind of important. So she's going to be hosting a workshop and around DeFi too. And about like, you know, how oh, DeFi enable us to, to rug pull the banks and like, you know, take control ourselves. Um, you know, which is yep. which is you know, something else, and then, um, yeah, and then like, Very cool. you know, we got the car, and we got the artist Peter Tunney, Sergey Gordienko, uh, tons of great NFT artists. There's a woman named Sarah Mansky who's giving a pro uh, a talk on on the crypto commons, and again, like. I, 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 will, I will hearken back that we're looking at a lot of like new earth framework and methodology of how do we build these new systems and like creating a container for it under the under the the banner of crypto. Um, so like you know, for those who want to just come up and learn, like great opportunity to do that. Like you know, one thing is just like you are invited to come join. You are invited. The question is, will you say yes or will you say no? I know what your answer is, Paul. Uh, you know I've already said yes. I'm committed. <laughs> I am there. Flights for a hotel for time off. Schedule cleared. We'll be over there. But there may be some people listening in the audience that are like, oh, I'm not sure. Should I go? Should I not? Maybe they've got some questions. So you want to open up to some questions from the listeners here over on Twitter Spaces? Sound cool to you, Kyle? Absolutely. Let's, 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 let's rock and roll. Let's go ahead and do it here. Let's see. Does anybody have any questions? I know we've got... Um, people over on Edge who are moderating that can open it up. I'm looking here over at my Twitter spaces. Anybody, feel free to fire away. What do you want to know about the Miami crypto experience? And who is going? Does anyone want to just holler and say, hey, I will be over there? I feel like the, the the Twitter Spaces community is just getting warmed up towards like yeah. all right, let's get let's get highly interactive. Like, you know, yeah, exactly. A lot of like, like a lot of the clubhouse the people, and let like, people let people chat. But in you have a good what, what else? Listeners we're gonna have here. a we're gonna have a three D scanner on site as well. So we're gonna turn people mm -hmm. into NFTs. You know, with that. Uh, we're going to have a gigantic LED wall that's going to be highlighting different NFTs. We have a metaverse as well. I kind of forget to bring this up, but we have a full metaverse that will have oh, all the Zuckerberg workshops. Going to be there? No. Well, I don't yeah, know. Thank maybe, God. Maybe. I mean, he might. He might. He might. He <laughs> might. I heard, I heard he likes okay. to wear like It'll wigs and show him. up and, and, and pretend to be other people. So he might be there. If you see somebody wearing a wig, it looks kind of like Mark Actually, Zuckerberg. I feel like Could in real be life, him. he looks like he's already in the metaverse. Right? So, <laughs> yeah. But so we've got this metaverse, and we've also partnered with a group called Kryptonite that's doing a full virtual track of the conference as well. So there's a bunch of people who couldn't make it, so we've created a, a space for you know a virtual element to the conference. So for anybody who wants to, they can you know, go to expcrypto.io, and you can get the in-person ticket, or you get the metaverse ticket. If you use the code EDGE20, you'll get percent off of, <coughs> off of, uh, off, off of the ticket right. package. We forgot to mention that. Discount code for anyone listening to this or following us on Twitter, Edge20, 20% 20 off tickets. Please go ahead and use it. And we'll also be, we may have a few giveaways uh, coming up. So uh, keep an eye out on the at Edge Wallet Twitter, uh, Twitter handle. And we do have a few tickets to give away between now and the conference. So if you're interested in going, if you're in Miami, want to fly into, you just want to visit Miami. And while you're there, heck, go check out a great event in crypto. Uh, we'll be giving away a few free tickets. But... Right now, you could already register 20% off Edge 20 as a discount code. So, mm -hmm. awesome. Thanks for that detail. Thanks for that reminder. We're going to have celebrities with, uh, there, too. We're going to have celebrities, Paul. If that's your thing, any, uh, there's going to be you some guys celebrities. Leak any celebrities? Um, any so uh, names you're able to leak? Or it's gonna be, yesterday, uh, get the yesterday, was, yesterday was confirmed that we have um, Evander Holyfield, I believe. I, I don't, I, like, he's going to be, he's like the champ. It's gonna. 
He's going to be really? there. Yeah. And then we also have, I don't know. We, 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 Holyfield, legendary fight. Oh yeah. Back when I was a kid. I don't know. You're going to have folks. Yeah. With him? This time I, around? <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. I, I can't wait, but I, I know that he's been looking at the space and, you know, maybe now we're into like, you know, because Tyson's been a huge promoter of like, you know, whatever shiny. Since the way so, back days. I actually just came back from Tyson's old house in Vegas. I was over at okay. Coin Agenda, <laughs> Michael Turpin, who actually acquired his house and had an after party there. So, uh, you know, Tyson's been in the crypto space for quite some time. If people don't remember, but back in, I think, 2014 or 2015, he launched his own series of Mike Tyson ATMs or BTMs, Bitcoin teller machines, or people could buy Bitcoin, um, white labeling, uh, various brands, I think it was a Lamasu. So definitely the celebrities in the crypto space, they've been around for years now since the early days and more and more are piling in. We just heard of a uh, you know, Florida local Tom Brady now accepting his salary in Bitcoin. Oh, wow. Yeah, and honestly, it's just like one, one, when the opportunity for something cool comes around when there's something happening and I feel like, you know, with NF, everything that's in, in happening in New York City right now, like, you know, we're just saying we're, we're, we've got a bunch of people up there, a bunch of friends that are in F, at, at NFT NYC. NFT. And like, just yep. like, you know, keep that vibration rolling. Like, let's come down to Miami where you can, yeah, we'll you know, leave, to Miami. Where you yep. can leave the masks on the airplane. You can leave your papers at home because none of that's required oh, yeah. in, 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 in Florida, a freedom state, respects the Constitution, that respects, the Bill, respects the Bill of Rights, USA. Yep. Um, uh, so Just bring you yourself. Just bring yourself. You know, and yep. and come out exactly. there, and if you like, if you like being in costumes as well, like wear a costume to it. If you if you if you ever been to Comic Con, like we're in San Diego, and it's almost in Paul's background. It's like you know the convention center where Comic Con is held, where it's one of the greatest mm -hmm. conferences like in the world, and it's so fun because everybody dresses up. And like you know, if you want to oh, dress yeah. up for this, it's a great opportunity to come to this conference and dress up. This is not like I would not suggest. No to view this as like a Wall Street suits and ties conference. This is not unless like, that's your yes, yeah, unless, unless that's, that's your jam. Really what you if want if to you really like Barney, want to do that, unless you can Barney, do that. You know, yeah. Barney wore suit to bed, that kind of thing, you know? And, and, and maybe sure. suits and ties, like, and if suits and ties like really aren't your jam, this could be an opportunity to wear a suit and tie. <laughs> Go get a tuxedo. Ah, that, that's your Go, costume. Like, Kyle, you, still have that, you still have that old red blazer? Remember that one? I still, that would be an uh, amazing yeah. suit and tie for people to play. That is in. a good one. Yeah, I gotta get that. Oh, I gotta got in the bus right here. Got yeah, in, yeah, in, my, in, my, in my, my tour bus. Like, we'll get that out. I want, I want to close with one more question for you, Kyle, which is really a question about details. I see that Gary Lahance is going to be over at the event, and he is Le the Chance. legendary founder of Le, Le Chance. That pronounced Le right? Chance. So, Gary Le Chance. Uh, the chance, man. But uh, he's the legendary founder of the DDP, and I've been fortunate enough to participate in one of the DDPs in Toronto, which was an absolutely amazing experience. Um, you want to give people a little bit of detail on what the DDP is, and, and will there be a DDP um, in Miami? So yes, there's going to be a DDP in Miami. It's going to be on 11-11 in the evening, and uh, so that's Thursday night. Uh, a DDP is a DDP? It's a decentralized dance party. It's where we take a bunch of incredibly powerful wireless speakers and boom boxes and sync them all up using modern technology or sometimes legacy radio technology and create a cacophony of music and high vibration. And then we move through public spaces. So instead of being like in like you know, a nightclub or a bar and being stuck there. This is going to move throughout the city, not too fast. Like, you know, we're going to dance and listen slow. to great music, not too fast, not too slow. And we're going to be like in like downtown Miami, which has some really amazing public spaces. So we're going to be like bouncing around and like checking it out. The route won't be decided until, uh, until before, before the event, but it's going to be, a really exceptional 
um, event. And that's and this is another reason, like where bring to bring to bring a costume, or bring something kind of like freeing or, 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 or something silly. Because I'll just say this again, like when you put on a costume, it enables you to like let down some of your guards and just Absolutely. be your Halloween freest is self. My favorite holiday. Halloween, <laughs> Halloween should be a holiday. It's been one of my favorite events of the year ever since <laughs> I was a kid. And I've always said November 1st should be a holiday because I don't know how many times I've either been late for homework, had to call in sick, showed up late and whatnot, be it just because it's one of my just absolute favorite moments. Because, yes, you're exactly right. To let your guard down be someone else that is actually not someone else but a little inner part of you that you normally don't let out. So we're going to have a little bit of that with the DDP in Miami. So once again, we're going to close that. We're just about out of time, Kyle. So if you want to give a quick salute, I definitely want to see everybody over there. Definitely the people listening, whoever's going to catch us, we're going to, we're going to play this, this recording out on YouTube and other channels um, throughout the week to give people these details and get more people into the Miami crypto experience. So thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Totally. And we'll see you in Miami. Yeah, expcrypto.io. Use code EDGE20 to get your, get your ticket at Miami Crypto EXP. It's tagged on here, so just follow along. Got any questions? Yep. Let us know. If you want to do something special, let us know. If you want to get involved, um, you know, and showcase something, just reach out. Only thing that happens, Sounds but great. like you know, you don't get what you don't ask for. So you know, come out, do it, do it. Let's party. Exp Crypto, <coughs> Exp Crypto .io, correct? All right. Yeah, Exp Crypto .io. Thanks, everyone, and thank you so much, Kyle. We'll see you then. Okay. Take Fantastic. Care.